Well, tick, tick, tock. It looks like somebody was late. Oh, uh, it's uh, eight oh one in the PM here on the Eastern Standard Time. I had uh, Bob Hill say that uh, I, you know what I need to do next time when I do my next video that I'd need to do either doing my entire John for Sunday voice or Bob Shepard. I haven't decided which one to do it in, but how's everyone? I see Mike Lee's in the chat. Zima Zinga's already dropping in, and Tom is here. What's going on, everyone? Oh, my goodness. Is this the Ed Valentine piece? He's li living in fantasy land. I'm not living in fantasy land. You're living in fantasy land. That's your fault. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I saw the piece. I, I didn't read it. I saw it and I, I saw the uh, uh, what they what they were talking about. I, I, you know, in reference to the Giants going worst to first, I should say first to worst or worst to first. I had it right the first time. But you know what? I, it, it was the ridiculousness, the ridiculousness, if that's a word, to even see that or, e or even or even have that or have that thought process that the Giants could potentially do anything such as that. Mark Thompson, what's going on, Mr. Barbados? How's it going in the Barbados area? It's going good here. When Tim or OGR say Goonie Goo Goo, that's when you hit the like button. <laughs> uh, of course, that's from the Mr. Eddie Murphy, but I was thinking about it today because, you know, the Giants probably are going to be predicted to. Yes, this is this is at Valentine Land. This is this is welcome to Fantasy Island. I am your host, Mr. Rourke. Welcome to Fantasy Island. But you have to think about it. You have to think about it logistically. And you got to think about it in the sense of could they? Oh, LJ, make it a stop. And Mr. LJ's in the house. You know, it's a party when LJ's here. You know, it's been over a month since we did a stream. It's been a month, which was kind of shocking to me. I didn't think it, I didn't think it was that long. And then someone sent me an email today and said, you know, it's been a month. <laughs> I was like, well, if it's been a month, you know, we need to, we need to do a stream. But you have to take a look. In the annals of sports history, Jeff's in the house. Jeff in his house. Oh, that's good that Mark is good over there. Whoops, we're going to see who else is coming in. Grant's dropping in. It's like old home week. We got Grant Anderson in the room because we all know what Grant needs. I don't even need to click on Grant's post yet. I'm going to use my, my, powers of, my powers of perception. The Giants need to leave East Rutherford. We need to move back to New, <laughs> New York. MetLife sucks. It really does. Todd Taylor's in the, his house as well. Should we have offered the Browns a fourth round conditional pick for Breaker? You know, it's funny. Before I get into my, my what I was going to spiel about until Todd so it ruined it very serendipitously, I would have traded for Baker Mayfield. Contractually, it wouldn't have fit the team. We don't have the money. But I would have traded for Baker. Everything you could say about him, everything that you can say negatively about him, you have to remember you got Daniel Jones as your quarterback and potentially no one in 2023. You potentially have the opportunity to grab someone in 2023, but it doesn't mean you're going to get anyone. You have five teams, including the Eagles, with two first round picks next year. So there is going to be a challenge to go get Bryce Young. There's going to be a challenge to go get an, any, one of the other big name quarterbacks allegedly come. There's going to be a challenge with Baker. You know what you have. The guy played with a torn labrum in his non-throwing shoulder, which did not allow him to get the velocity on the torque that he needs to throw the ball. Cause he's, he's not a big guy, but you know, he can win you games. He's done it in the past. He's done it before he can win. And you know that he can win. So, yeah, I would have traded a fifth-round pick. If, if, if the salaries would have fit, you must have quit. I would have traded a fifth-round pick for him. I would have. And I'm not going crazy. You've gone crazy. Institutionalized driving me crazy. You're the one that's crazy. I just wanted a Pepsi. That's all I wanted. Michael Lee says, nice. Huey Lewis reference in the earlier video. There was another one, but I forgot what it was. I've done a couple. I've, I've, dro I've dropped a couple references in lately. Some people are like, oh, Tim, you're on your game. <laughs> I appreciate that. Tom says, that's why we tank 0-17. I don't think we're bad enough to be 0-17. This is what's going to screw us. This is what's, what's really going to screw us. I think we're going to be bad early. And I'm talking like Nino Brown evil bad. Because I have that, I have that feeling that we're just not going to win. Uh, you have a defense that... 
is suspect in the secondary. You got a defense that's also suspect in the linebacking core. You're gonna have you're gonna have rookie rookies in prominent roles, and it's a new system under Wink. You then have to turn around and figure you have an entirely new offensive philosophy going on with our old buddy Dable and Kafka. It could take seven, eight weeks to gel. But what I think is going to happen is we'll be bad, but then we'll get progressively non-worse. Not saying better, saying non-worse. To the point that we may win some games. I got to sneeze. Glad I was able to do that with the mic turned off. But we'll get progressively non-worse. And then we'll move forward that way. We will move into that direction and it'll be, we'll be bad enough to not be good enough to get one of the top five picks. Maybe we pick at seven. And I think that's, that's, that's the, that's the, the issue that we need to deal with. That's, that's the problem we need to think about as an organization. And I think that's what keeps Joe Shane up at night. Because I don't think the Giants have any illusion or delusions that our old buddy Daniel Jones is going to rock the Casbah. I don't think they they have any delusions in that because they would have picked up the fifth-year option because it would have been a cheaper way to go than rolling the dice and saying, you know what, maybe we can, you know, you think of it this way. You you could have given Daniel Jones 20-something million or you may have to give him 30. So there could be a ten million dollar swing, but you're they're rolling the dice enough, saying you know we don't believe in you enough. I don't believe in you enough that I I have to go out and find the OG QB and Tyrod Taylor. I don't believe in you enough that I'm I have the fan base already clamoring to draft a quarterback in 2023, even though everyone thinks that Daniel Jones is going to be the man. But I don't believe in you enough to do any of these things. So at the end of the day, you know there's going to be a new quarterback in 2023. Todd says, just hilarious, a pro team gave away a quarterback. They did give away a quarterback if you think about it. If you think about it, Cleveland, there is still a large chance. Not even large chance. I'm, I'm going to say it's a 99% chance. There is going to be a suspension for Deshaun Watson. Because some women did not drop their suits. There could be a large suspension with Deshaun Watson, and you gave away a starting quarterback who's been in the system. We got good evening from the West Coast. Tim and online big blue and the family's here. Mike Lee says, you mean you won't be, we won't be that bad. And you know what that means. <laughs> We're going to be bad. It's going to be bad. It's, 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 it's not going to be a horror show bad, but it's going to be bad. And I've said it before. I give this team four to five wins. And as long as there is an improvement and as long as there is a progression of the talent that's on this roster and is showing a step up, I don't have a problem with that. Now, I I will have a problem if this first draft class tanks. If this first draft class looks horrid, I will have that problem. That's what that's when I'll have an issue. I will have a problem then, but I you gotta give them, you gotta give them this whole year. You got you have to give them this opportunity to turn around. Yeah, I'll make it nighttime. There you go. There you go, Mazinga. It's nighttime. You have to give them the opportunity to move forward. You have to get moving to if Kayvon Thibodeau gets seven and a half sacks and shows a progression, that's great. That's what we want. If you know, even a Yusef Corker. I don't know picking on the poor kid, but if Yusef comes around and says, you know what? I'm not a player, but I can show you something at that safety position. That's a good thing. As long as you're stepping forward and you're moving forward, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Because you want to know what it's about? Someone said it best. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Thank you, Rocky, because we all know that's how winning is done. Tom says, Joe Shane might be gone after next season. At this point, we should tank a draft young next year. Shane's not going anywhere. 
There is going to be a stability with Shane. I don't know if it's going to. I thought it was going to be a stability last time. Good, bad, or indifferent. I thought the stability was going to be there with the juggernaut. No, I didn't. <laughs> or oh, his mother working ass fire the day he was hired. But I think there's a stability here. You got to give the kid, and, he, and I can call him a kid, but you got to give him at least four years. You have to let Shane turn around and take t- old mother Hubbard said the best. There's nothing in this cupboard. There's no curds. There's no way there's nothing. There's minimal talent. And some of the talent that you have now, you're going to have to move on from. And Shane knows that. So you have to give him the credit and you have to give him the hope that he can move forward from that. What does Mark have to say here? Baker, not good enough for me. He may be better than Jones, but we need elite. Let's just ride it out with Jones and find a quarterback from the draft. I, I, I don't I don't disagree with that, but I disagree with it to a point. I think while Baker is not in the class of Patrick Mahomes, he's not in the class of Aaron Rodgers. He's he's not, he's definitely not in that class. But you know what he is? He's in the class of I can make a Pro Bowl. He's in the class of I can get you to the playoffs. He's in the class that I can I can win you a playoff game. I don't think Daniel Jones is in that class. And I'm not sure finding a college quarterback is the same is going to be in that class either because there's no guarantee. I put it in the background. See, I, that, that's a nighttime. That's a nighttime picture. James Williams in the, his house. James Williams will be on the field for the 40-yard toss. He's going to be standing in five yards in the end zone as I sit there on the 35 and drop a perfect pass. Into the breadbasket of James Williams. What's up, Rome? What's up, my good brother, Tim? Everything's good, James. You know it. You know it. If Ridley gets a one-year suspension, so what you expect did Sean Watson get? I, you know, Sean Watson's going to get something. He's going to get something, and it's not going to be good. Todd says, this is the teardown year. We're not even rebuilt. We may be working on the foundation right now. That's what I think we're doing that. I think we're building the foundation right now. I think we got the cement. I think we're mixing. I think we're churning. We're going to be pouring the cement a little bit here. But the question is going to be, what are they going to build on this foundation? And is this first draft truly foundational pieces? LJ, you're only giving them three years. I'm giving them three years, LJ says. Three. See, I've said this before. I don't think you can grade a draft class. Excuse me, grade a grade. I can't talk. I don't think you can grade a draft class until after year three. Until after year three. So you have to give them this first draft class. And you have to wait and see. So it may, I, you got to give them at least four years. Give them four years. And, and I think that, that'll, uh, you know, that'll show something. James Williams says, this is put up or shut up season for a lot of these players. The clock is ticking. I did a video today that basically said, you know what? You got to put your big boy pants on. And I had a list of players that had to have the big boy pants on because there are, and you know, it was funny. I didn't even think how many players were going to be on that list because I did it live. I did it without even thinking. Are you a big man? Huh? I'm talking to you. What? You wake up in the morning, you say, I put on my big boy pants. Look, I'm wearing a belt. I got big boy pants on. I had the big, they, and there was like a good maybe 20, 20 candidates out of 80 that needed to get their big boy pants on. And I thought it was going to be less than that. But as I started reading down the list, you see a lot of Gettleman retreads. You see a lot of Gettleman picks that just haven't panned out. And if you think about everyone that we let go, from Gettleman's drafts already. And what's and what's on right now, it's it's just like you're not you're not seeing it, you're not feeling it. Hall's a semifinalist. Hall who? Oh, Dan Reeves. Uh, breaking giant news. Dan Reeves, former general Giants head coach, and Everson Walls are among the finalists for the football hall of fame. Good for them. Good for them. We don't need to tank. We're not good enough to even try to lose. We're not good enough. I, I haven't, you know, it's not, that's, that's, that's a new one to me that we're not good enough to even tank. I think we're good enough to tank. I think we're damn well good enough that we could tank. 
Oh my goodness. LJ says, what's up, James? What's up, Mark? What's good? What's good? Cool, J. Cool, LJ. He's doing it and doing it and doing it well. He represents Queen. She was raised out of Brooklyn. What does Tom have to say here? If Joe Shane don't find a quarterback by next draft, I want him gone. But there's no guarantee. There's no, there's, there's, you can't, you can't wait. Shane can't wave the quarterback wand. He could have, if he just went, it's Daniel Jones at the five. If he just went on the board, the Malik Willis express. If he took the Malik Willis express, we wouldn't be having this problem. And I agree with the T Brad. Hit that like button. Do what the T Brad says, but it, it, it's there's no guarantee that you can find the quarterback. There's none. There's nothing you could do about that. So you have to hope that Shane comes up with something. Heck, Dave, good point, my league. Dave Gellman got if Dave Gellman got four years, you need to give Joe Shane 10. And I'm joking. But if you're gonna give Gellman four, you gotta give Shane four. T Brad says, okay, let's hit that like button. Do what the T Brad says. Mazinga says, list of big boy pants, part to one. I'm not going to go back through that list. If you want to watch that, well, you were on the video this morning. You were there. You were there. And you were there. And you were there. It's so good to be home because there's no place like home. Ah, oh, little Dorothy, little Wizard of Oz. Todd Taylor says, do we have a punter yet? He may be. We do. We have, we have the Scottish Hammer. I can't even think of his name. That's why I just call him the Scottish Hammer. <laughs> so I can't think of his name off the top of my head. I'm not worried about the punter. <laughs> you got to worry that Graham Gano's leg doesn't fall off. Because potentially he could be the offense again. He could he could go. Hey, you know what? It's funny. And Graham, go, Graham Gano lines up for the kick. Here he goes. It's, he could go all the way. He kicked it in. Three points. Uh, hopefully we're not going to have that. The smooth sounds of Kenny G. The smooth sounds of Kenny G. Uh, you know what? Just, just for you, Mazinga. And this is Tim doing overnights. Wishing everyone a happy and safe evening. And we're going to close out today's show with... Bringing you the smooth sounds of Kenny G. 72 million. Not worth it. As you can plainly see. LJ says, T-Brad! It's the T-Brad. It's the... It's old... Oh, it's it's old folks week. It's because it, everyone's here. A month. It's been a month. June. It's like June thirteenth was the last one you did that. Oh no! I convinced LJ. I'm convinced. I'll give him four. Ah, uh, you know it's my power. I don't want to lie. It's my power of persuasion that just convinced LJ to give him four. You that or he's drinking. Where's Big L? Where's Big L? Where's he at? Tom says Dave should have gone after Dave probably should have. If you're going to be honest, Dave Gettleman should have been gone after year three. He should have been gone after year three, but the giants, the giants didn't want to break up the continuity of the organization because they've had enough problems. It's just so terrible. Just make Jones a punter. Why don't we make Jones a wide receiver? It can't be any worse than Alex, Alex Bachman or David Sills. I think his name is Jamie Gillian. Yes, that's lots of Scottish hammer. <laughs> what does Todd say? People need to stop hoping quarterbacks from big school are locks. Lots of flops. Lots of flops and lots of, yeah, you're not wrong. But you know what? We're not going to worry about a quarterback this year. We have the OG QB. We have Tyrod Taylor. Now listen, I am not filled with confidence. If Tyrod Taylor starts 14 games and that doesn't fill me with confidence, I don't sit there and go, Ooh, that's, that's what I want to have happen. I've said it before and I'm going to keep saying it to people because people think I've gone insane. You want Daniel Jones to succeed. You want him to, in some ways you need him to, because if you want to win any games, that's what you need to do. Christopher, Tony, what's going on? Hey, Tim, what's up? Hello to everyone in the chat. It's old home week. I missed everybody. <sighs> I just missed everybody. 
James Wayne says we have to give Joe four years because honestly, this one doesn't count. Really, does it? No, it doesn't. That's a dramatic pause. That's my say sore. No, it doesn't count. Break it down. T Brad loves the smooth sounds of Kenny Ch I miss T Brad. I miss T Brad. I miss LJ. I miss Mark. I miss Mazinga. I miss Mark Hernandez. I am Mark Hern Mark Hernandez is in the room. Let's see what else is here today. For Tyrod, Todd, I almost called you Tyrod Taylor. Todd says four years, fifth year, if things are improving. Does anyone remember what the long the longevity of his contract is? Because I think that's good. Because I think that's also going to be another stickler point. Because I think the Giants are just tired of paying people for not working. I, I, they're tired of Bobby Bonilla. You know, it's the Bobby Bonilla syndrome. We're just going to pay you not to work. I think I'm. I think I'm getting paid by the Giants right now not to work. Ah, T. Brad says, "What's up, people? I'm fresh from Mexico. Hola, donde está los cervezos, por favor." That was Mexico, T. Brad. Hopefully, it was very beachy. Mark says, "Howdy, James. Howdy, T. Brad." What does Mark Hernandez have to say? Giants will be good this year. I hope. You hope, and I'll hurry. But it ain't happening. We'll try to plan. Follow the Vegas odds. And I'm saying though, but you know what? This is this is a great season. This is a weird thing to say. This is a great season to be a Giant fan. This truly is a great season. Why? Think about this for a minute. If you're projected to win four to five games, and you win four to five games, and you see a progression, it's a great season. If you win six to seven games. It's even a better season. You somehow win nine games and sneak into the playoffs. It's all gravy. So everything is gravy. You know, we like gravy. Uh, what's up, Christian? What's up? What's up? He puts in the M. Christopher's got a question. Tim, got a question. If the centers gets injured, where do we go to replace him? I think I have said this a million times. If the center gets injured... And I'm trying to find it because your lack of faith is disturbing. You know what happens? If, I've said it before. You know what happens if the center gets injured. That's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. Christopher, everyone is saying they're going, John Feliciano is going to be the greatest center since Bartos. He's got 300 snaps at center. His entire career. He's missed multiple games in two years during his entire, during the last, like I said, the last two seasons. You're asking him to fill into a position where outside of the quarterback is a commander on the field, is the guy that's going to set your lines. He's going to call out the adjustments. He's going to do all those important things. But you're relying on a guy who's been injured for two years who's got 300 snaps under his belt to come in and play a vital role on the line. And I understand why they're doing this because they they don't have the money right now. We have 6 million in cap space run their cap by 6 million. And I've said this before. We've said it again, kitties. What's what's the phrase that Joe Shane wants to use, or he's going to steal from me that he needs throughout the rest of the season, operational cap space. That's the problem. James says the Panthers have two quarterbacks. They were picked in the top by the same draft. So I guess we're not at the bottom of the barrel just yet. That is the roll out the barrel. We'll have a barrel of fun. That is an interesting. You know what, James? I didn't even think about that. That is an interesting point. You have two quarterbacks in the same draft that people, some giant fans wanted the giants to draft and they didn't. How that draft work? And you also you also have the wonderful uh, Josh Rosen in that same draft, and I, I'm not even sure how that worked out. I'm not even sure how that worked out. I can't I can't even you know that was a, that was a great draft. That was an all star draft. T Brad says, "Well, this year Daniel Jones is going to be the next Willie Beeman, not because you want to know why." I find your lack of faith disturbing. That would be the lack of faith disturbing, but you don't want to know why? What you talking about, Willis? Because you want to know why? What happens? There's Willie Beeman. We had to find the Willie Beeman button. It's been so long since we pushed it. That's what she said. That we had to find the Willie Beeman button. Took me a while to find it. 
Mike Lee says, didn't know your first name is Eddie. I thought it was Tim. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. Yo, Emmanuel Reese, what's going on, man? Todd Taylor, uh, we'll get to Emmanuel in a second. Todd Taylor says, Panthers need to sign Rosen. Just for, they should sign Rosen just for that little bit. And somehow trying to figure out get Josh Allen on the roster. Oh, Emmanuel Reese, what? I, I, you know what? I was just reading an email from you for a while. I was going to email you the other day. I just get a chance. It was actually today. Let's think about it. what's good. Everything's good, man. It's the off season. The Giants are what we refer to as undefeated. So it can't be bad. It can't be. It's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, isn't Bobby still getting Bobby Bonilla is still getting paid. He's got like another 15 years of collecting a check. Cancun rocks. Is Senor Frog still in Cancun? I like Senor Frog. James Williams says, what's up, Mark Thompson? Yes, yes, yes. What's up, my brother? Tom has to also say, we didn't have a center anyways. Just stick someone in there. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. We don't have a center anyways. Todd Taylor says, Feliciano has basically played one year over the last... He, great way to put it, Todd. You're right. He's played one season over the last two. <laughs> but don't worry, because as we all know, the Giants never have injury issues. So he so, so he'll be fine. Feliciano will be fine. <laughs> he's he is somehow going to find out that I am the Iron Man. <laughs> I am made of steel. You know what you are? Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? You do have a name. My name is Gladiator. Well, that's gonna be the name of our center, a gladiator. My name my name is Maximus Decimus Martius. <laughs> that's that's who we need. That's who we need at center. We need we need we need someone at center. Mike Lee says DJ will lead us to the Super Bowl this year. Never tell Mike Lee is going crazy. But luckily he added the lull at the end of it. So we know it's not so we know he hasn't gone insane. T Brad says, What excuses do we have for Daniel Jones this season? The summer equinox is going to change the reverse polarity of the equator, which in turn will make it 14 degrees warmer which we all know that Daniel Jones does not like playing in any temperature above 78.6 degrees. <laughs> you asked for it. Uh, is that a dog bite or is that a dog barking in the background? That is a dog barking in the background. <laughs> oh, that is a dog in the background. James Williams says, I'm cool. That is Mark. Just enjoying the downtime. It's the downtime. It's the silly season. Yes, we needed that song. <laughs> I just like to sing. Uh, let's see here. Well, LJ says, how is he doing? How is he doing in, in, in 10? I haven't been following. How is he doing in 10? I haven't been following. Well, I'm following either. What did I miss over here? What did I miss? Uh, Bob, oh, yeah. Bobby Bonilla. Jeez, Bobby Bonilla. Man, he's still going. I love the for the undrafted free agent to make the roster. Oh, the, uh, the kid from Florida State. I think he has an opportunity. He's a burner. He could be a special teams guy. You you went out. You, you have to hope that Barkley turns the corner. You have to hope that Barkley is is going to find the mystical and magical fountain of youth that is going to allow him, such as John Feliciano, John Feliciano, not to be injured. We have we have a special guest going to stop by here right now and tell us all about how he is not going to have a problem. Baby Saquon, what do you think? I'm not going to get hurt. See, Baby Saquon says he's not going to get hurt. So you know what? Baby Saquon doesn't like. What does Mark Hernandez have to say? Uh, I think Shane can play center because he was taking some snaps there. And I feel I feel less warm and fuzzy like having Shane Lemieux at center than I do John Feliciano. Can, 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 we, bring, can we bring back John Halley, 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 Can we bring back John? That's how bad I feel about that. Bobby Mania gets $1.2 million annually till 2035 those will ponds man they're there they're, they're, they're smart not only they traded away bonilla but they bought him they brought him back at one point oh my god james williams thank god for white vic or the draft class might go as down one of the worst of all time baker sam and josh mark says before before what goony google now we're not saying goony google uh, Emmanuel says, what does Emmanuel say? The video you put out earlier made it sound like the whole giant team need to put on their big boy pants. But here's the problem, Emmanuel. I wasn't trying to make it that. I wasn't trying to make it sound that way. I really wasn't. 
I literally just put up the roster, turned on the mic, and said, I am going to go through this roster, and we're going to see who needs to put their big boy pants on. And I just kept going and going and going and going and going and going. It does seem like he had a great vacation. LJ's in Tennessee. <laughs> What's it going? Big Zach attacks in the house says, What's up? Tom says, Isn't Lamar in the classes? Yes, Lamar Jackson is in the same class as well. So maybe they can get Lamar Jackson on the team. <laughs> Why not? Throw him out there. What does Todd have to say? Todd says, well, Berkeley has abs now, so apparently that means something. We all know when you gain 7 to 10 pounds of muscle as a quarterback and you do it two years in a row, that makes you a pro bowler. That's what makes you a pro bowler. James Kahn from the program. James Kahn from Rollerball. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Mr. James Conn. Uh, let's see. Curtis, uh, Curtis, Christopher Tony says, Brightwell will be waived or put on the practice squad. I believe Brightwell will be waived or put on the practice squad as well. I'm, I'm not, I haven't, I've never been a big Brightwell fan, but I think we have enough opportunity for the running back situation to make this move forward. So I'm, 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 I'm fine with that. I, I'm fine with him being a practice squad type guy. Uh, how, let's see. Uh, LJ, how is Malik doing in Tennessee? I haven't been following. Well, LJ. You haven't been following. You haven't been following. You haven't been following. Malik Willis. Bring He's up. bringing the boom. We're going to tighten up here next year, too. We might have to do some Titan games. Uh, you know, what's funny about, you know, what's funny about, uh, about Malik. There's already talk about, there's already scuttlebutt about them moving on from Ryan Tannehill and starting Malik. They've said it before. They said it. They said it a bunch of times, Tennessee, tons of potential. But it's raw potential. But he evidently he was making. I was I watched some of the OTAs, and evidently he was making throws that people just, oh, uh, they were just had the had the wow factor. But they say I'll say the same thing. <laughs> just I shouldn't have read ahead from big tasks. I shouldn't have read ahead. Uh, but they're saying the way he's doing well in Tennessee. He's doing well. Zach says, I feel like this team is built from the ground, growth from individual success, not team success. I've said this. I think that's 100% right, Zach. This team needs to build some continuity and reference to cultivating talent. You cultivate the talent. You bring this team forward. You bring them into a base of a foundation of Kayvon Thibodeau, Evan Neal, Andrew Thomas, Aziz, o Aziz Ojolari. You know, you, you hope you hope McFadden something. You hope Xavier McKinney sticks around. You, you hope Adore Jackson stays healthy. You build that solid foundation, and then you move forward with building on top of that. What is James says? Word they shot Sonny like a hundred times. That looked like a massacre, my boy. That's of course. You know what? This is this is why you never stop at the toll booth. Especially when you're a mobster in the 40s. You don't stop at the toll booths because you know what? That's what happens to you. Uh, Big Tass says, have you changed your mind about Dan? No. <laughs> I have not changed my mind or my opinion on Daniel Jones. I think he is going to flame out. I, I, I think the talent is just not there. I think the processing skills just aren't there. But I've said this a bazillion times. The Giants can't win without a quarterback. And am I comfortable with the OG QB, Tyrod Taylor, sitting there for X amount of week, 14 weeks, 12 weeks, 10 weeks? No. Daniel Jones has enough talent to win you some games. Can I get you into the playoffs? I don't think so. Can he carry a team? I don't think so. Because we've always talked about this. You need the perfect line. You need the perfect wide receivers. You need the perfect running back. The grass has to be exactly at two and a half and three quarters inches. The wind has to be coming at a brisk two miles an hour from the east. Everything has to be perfect for this kid. He needs to play in a dome. But the Giants aren't going to win any games if he's not on the field and being competitive. Now, there's a difference between being good and being competitive. I would take him just being competitive. What do we got here? What do we say here? Tom says, do we have a second outside? No, we don't have a second. We, you're hoping Robinson's going to step up. 
Hope and Darius Williams could potentially step up. If Julian Love is starting on the outside, you know you got some serious problems. You basically lost three quarters of your secondary this offseason. And you re- it's you know, this is the only thing that I can tell you that scares me a little bit about this team. You basically lost three quarters of your secondary. It's like the offensive line two years ago, where the our last year, where the Giants had all these guys, all unproven, and that they were they were they were going to coach up that talent. They were coaching up the talent, but well, the count they didn't coach it up, and I'm worried that they're going to try to do the same thing with the secondary. And are you running the wink attack defense? What's your assignment? Kill the quarterback. Hit the tight end so hard his girlfriend dies. Kill everybody. You are running that attacking style defense, and you don't have a successful secondary. It's going to get. And I've said this before. You run into a professional quarterback. Dak Prescott is a professional quarterback. Carson Wentz, if he's on a good, if he's if he's a good Carson Wentz, can be a professional quarterback. I'm not. I'm not displacing Jalen Hurts because I still would rather have Jalen Hurts than Daniel Jones, but he's the only one that I don't, I don't worry about as much in the division if you harass him. What does Mark say? Do you think, uh, what do you think about the suggestion of trade sake? No, Miles Gaskin doesn't make sense to me unless you're getting rid of Barkley. AD for Slayton would be my prefer. You know what? It, I saw that. It doesn't make sense. It, it makes sense. For, it makes sense for Miami. Yeah, I, I mean, I say Miami. I don't know what I'm talking about today, but it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. And and I, you see some of these trades that don't make sense. Okay, and just jump into the Knicks really quick. I keep seeing. Well, we're gonna trade Julius Randle for Gordon Hayward. <laughs> I saw that, and I was like, "What the hell are people smoking?" What, I, I mean, honestly, you think about it. What are they smoking? Because you know what? L, LT knows what they're smoking. LT, can you tell us what they're smoking? Gentlemen, what brings me to my next point. Don't smoke crack. Sometimes people are just smoking crack because it doesn't make sense. Yes, he was a great actor, James Conn. He really was. Uh, James Williams says to Mark Thompson, we can't take away any of DJ's weapons because we don't have any excuses for him this year. There are no excuses for this year. for James. There's no excuses this year for Daniel Jones. There are no excuses. And the whole video, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's basically titled, Are you a big man? Huh? I'm talking to you. What? You wake up in the morning, you say, I put on my big boy pants. Look, I'm wearing a belt. I got big boy pants on. It's about the entire team putting on their big boy pants. And that's what we need to do. What does Chris Rupp say? Darius Slayton for another corner wide receiver would be. No, you know, we're not getting ready. Everyone's like Darius Slayton's on the bubble. Darius Slayton needs to do this. Darius Slayton needs to do that. Darius Slayton outside of Kenny G, who we have no idea what he's going to happen to him yet, is our most proven commodity on the outside. You got a bunch of slot guys. You got a bunch of guys in the slot. <laughs> He's your one proven outside receiver. And if you watch the video I did a couple months back, I broke down 60% of the reasons why a lot of what happened was not Darius Slayton's fault. But he is an easy target to choose. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? What's up, Ronnie Rivers? I love your channel. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> It's the it's the it's the awesomeness that gets you right. It's the it's the awesomeness, or is it just the Melonius voice? I can do the jump to Sunday again. But thank you. Sixty six. We are sixty six days away from the start of the season, to the start of the kickoff. And Ronnie, I'm glad you enjoy the channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate anyone says they enjoy the channel. <laughs> and I'm always like, why? Why, why? why do you enjoy this channel? Because you know we have a lot of fun here, and we're honest, and we speak the truth. And I appreciate that, Ronnie. I appreciate it very much. So, uh, Mr. Albert, hey, Mr. Alvarez, what's going on? The Giants seemed to be addicted to trying to make projects, unproven players, good and failing every time. I've said it before, reminds me of the Knicks a couple years back. We're going to take Michael Beasley. He may have been a failed second overall pick, but we're going to make him better. We're, we're, we're going to ta- get that untapped potential. <laughs> Never works out. Two time. 
Bella's in the house. And again, I don't even need to read it. Slew to the big boss. Sam dropping by the office to pay the proper respects for all the Giants fans around the world, slapping all them stinky boys, losers out the freaking door. Forget about it. <laughs> I miss Tuto. I don't need to miss Tuto. He's sitting right here. He says hi to James. Tom says Randall for Russell. I'm not taking, I'm not taking Westbrook. I'm sorry, I'm not taking Westbrook back. <laughs> that contract's a killer. And I know it's only one year left, but it's still like 38 million. Uh, LJ said the defense this year will give up the most explosive plays over the last 10, but will also have the most sacks over the last 10. You know, you, you know what? You, 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 you may not be wrong with that. I am. I'm thinking the sacks are going to come later in the, in the second half of the season. Once, cause you know what? I'm going to tell you this right now. If you're tough, the toughest positions to come in and play immediately and be a contributor immediately is going to be quarterback, cornerback, and personally, I believe defensive line, defensive edge positions, pass rushing positions. Because of the fact that you those, those are a lot of things you need, to, you need to have a bull rush, a technique, or the ability to just use your God-given talent to get around people. And we all know what Roy Hobbs said to Roy, Roy Hobbs' father said to Roy Hobbs. Talent ain't enough, Roy. It's not enough. Uh, we got the two-toe in the house. We got Ron in the house. We got Christopher. Hey, John, what's going on? What's up? What's up, John? I stop Raleigh Durham. What's good, Raleigh Durham? Raleigh Dur Durham. Raleigh Durham. What's up, everyone? Talk, I think about talking about Panthers trade. We were talking about the Panthers trade. I think you guys got yourself a good quarterback. I think you do. This is what everyone's thinking about the Panthers. I think, you know what? I think Baker is going to make Sam Darnold look like Sam Darnold. I think Baker's going to, you know what? If he's coached up by the McAdoo doo and he's coached up by the other idiot, you know, they, they, they could look, they could look somewhat good. Ronnie says, what's up guys. Tom says, Nick's still doing this. The Knicks still do it every year. I reference to finding talent. Sorry, I need a little bit of a drink there. Drinking water. No, no alcohol. I have uh, allergies. I have severe allergies. Never had allergies before. You know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little PSA right now. I don't recommend getting allergies. Because they're no fun. John Mooney says, what's up, Tim? Uh, let's see Mazinga here. What do you have to say here? No way Miami trades for Darius Slade. Miami will not need a wide receiver. They need a center and they need a right tackle. Could use another defense tackle. They will probably take a pick on. Yeah, yeah, they would probably take. Oh, I was right. Gaskins in Miami. I forgot. Uh, with the Panthers. Alvarez says, what the Panthers feel like is weird that they have the first and third pick of the 2018 draft. And yet those two quarterbacks have been major disappointments. And breaking news. They just signed Josh Rosen. John says most quarterbacks that are broken don't get fixed. All right. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're hey, you know, sometimes I wish I could say things like you're wrong. Okay. Tim Christopher says, I understand now. Well, well, someone needs to be added to both sides and not unproductive play. Yeah. We, we need that talent. But yeah, you're, you're not wrong. You need talent. Talent ain't enough. Really. Talent ain't enough. Uh, Tuto says, you want me? Oh, you know, I know what Tuto wants. Tuto wants, because Tuto, we all know Tuto is a big fan of, oh, do, 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 do. here you go, Tuto. That, this is, this is just for the Tuto. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. And then the other favorite Tuto part, because I love, I love this part as well. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you order the code red? You got the Right, I did. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta love that, Mr. Albert says. If the Giants had like a million dollars to spare, I would have said they would bolster the linebacking course. by you know, I like Alexander, but they don't, ha they don't have a cup of tea. They don't have a cup of sugar to spare, let alone a million dollars. And I think it would. I actually think it might take a little bit more than a lot. Uh, did you see uh, what do do? Did you know what's funny about? You can go back and watch my videos. No, I did not like Sam Darnold coming out. I did not like, I didn't, I hated, I didn't hate Sam Darnold, but I did not want the Giants to draft him. I wanted him to take Saquon Barkley. I've said this a million times. I did not like, I, there was only one quarterback in that draft, which I liked, which was Josh Allen. I thought he was going to be a project player. What do we got here? Who's texting me? Don't text me. Uh, I thought he was going to be a project player, and I did not like Darnold. 
I thought he was a USC quarterback, and to me, USC quarterbacks never, never, never pan out like you would think. I mean, I mean Carson Palmer, but then you think of Sanchez, um, and I hated Josh Rosen. I, I, I even said if if, if the Giants dropped Josh Rosen, I, I was never, I was gonna, I was stop being a Giant fan because I hated Josh Rosen. James Williams says, "You just said coached up, but no, I said the Mac a doo doo." Of course, he's not gonna be coached up. Of course, he's not. Good luck, Baker. Christopher says Yankees up two six to two over the Red Sox. Hell yeah. Uh, will Roche have a larger role? In the, you know what's funny, Zach? I don't know why Quincy Roche did not have a larger role in the defense last year. Never understood. There's a lot of things about uh, Patrick Rand's defense last year that I did not understand. And it, you know what? And it's not for it's not for me to sit here and understand these things. It's not for me to understand what what he is trying to accomplish. But I didn't understand some of the things he did in some of the rotations. I I don't understand why Aziz Ojolari only played like sixty some percent of the snaps. You want you need a guy to, to rush the passer. You drafted him in the second round. You knew it was going to be a bad season. Just throw the kid out. See what happens. Throw caution to the wind. Be bold, and mighty forces will come to your aid. But do, do they do that? No. <laughs> James says, hit the like button and call that code red. It's the code red. Well, thank you, Steel Curtain, for the super chat. What's going on, Steel Curtain? Hey, man, the NBA has to, to do something about the next CBA about these contracts. KD is asking for a trade five for <laughs> a trade with five years left is nuts. This isn't good for the NBA. You know it's funny? They tried to do this back with Mello before the Mello. Well, I think it was what 2000 came out of the year. The, they changed the CBA. They changed the CBA back then. That's why Mello forced his way out of Denver because of the fact that he knew that the new collective bargaining agreement was not going to be conducive for him to get the amount of money that he would have got under the old one, which is why they pushed him out. But the problem is a couple of years back, they changed it again. And now you're right. It's insanity. It's insanity. that These people want like forty three million dollars. It's insanity that you're going to pay these guys. It reminds me of when. The NFL did not have a salary cap. It reminds me of Sam Bradford made like four bazillion dollars. I think that's rounding up. And the and he still did nothing in the league. They actually had to change the rules because of Sam Bradford. They changed the rules just for him. And that's what the NBA's got to do. It is nuts. It is crazy. It is crazy. Uh, what do we got here? Mike Lee says Giants don't even have a K car. <laughs> oh, Mike. You know what? I found the button. That's what she said. Damn it. That's the button I was looking for. Oh, Mike Lee. Mr. Alvarez says the only reason why I said it is because Quan has one year of flyer deal last year for a million dollars, but he had a good year and he probably, you know, he's going to want, and that's kind of what, and that's kind of where I was going. That's kind of where I was going with that. He's going to cost more than that. He took the flyer deal. But he's gonna he's gonna want more money. He's he's gonna want more cash. And I understand I understand what I understood what you're going with it. You don't have to explain yourself. Mr. Alvarez, you never have to explain yourself. John says, who's your breakout player on both sides of the ball? I am actually going to go with if you if you want to talk a breakout player, I'm gonna say, you know what's funny? I'm gonna go Andrew Thomas as my breakout player. I think Andrew Thomas is gonna be the step up player. And I think he's going to have his breakout season. I think he's going to have his all pro pro bowl season. And on the other side of the ball, you know what I find interesting? You know, what I think is going to have a better season in this three, four, even though he's not a great fit for it is going to be Dexter Lawrence. Cause he's trying to get paid. <laughs> so of course he's going to have a good season. Let's see here. Yes, Quincy Roche won him the game in Vegas. Quincy has more minutes, man. Uh, more minutes. He was one of my. I like Quincy, and again, another one of those guys, Mr. Roberts, that I don't understand why they didn't play him. Eli Manning made bad decisions. Phil Sims made bad decisions. Dan Marino, Joe Montana, they all make bad decisions. But the problem is, you have to be. You know what you need. You need. And I've said this before. You need to be a player of moments. And if you can string moments together and get consistency, 
you can you can be I'm not saying he's gonna take anyone to I'm not gonna say he's gonna take anyone to the Super Bowl, but I'm just saying it will be interesting. Zach says Aziz had to, they did have success together at the same at the same time on the line. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Billy Idol gets it. Why didn't she get it? Uh tell me what movie that was from. Uh John says, I think the Jets broke. I think Don was always broke. I think he was always broke. I think he was broke for a, I think he was broke for a while. Christopher says, I love Quincy Roche. He was a steal. He he was a find. I gotta get I gotta give the Giants 100 percent credit for it. He was a find. James Williams, my brother, says, Okay, I have a bet with you, my boys. $20. Who's gonna have a better here? Evan Ingram or, or Mr. Bellinger? I'm not gonna take that bet. Because I think Evan Ingram is I think Evan Ingram in the warm weather playing in Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna have a season. NBA is crazy, says James, and not in a good way. Is there ever is there ever a good crazy? Did you ever did you do ever did you ever date somebody, man or a woman, and go, you know, they're a good crazy. John says Thoughts on USC joining the Big Ten? I don't like it. I really don't like it. I understand it, and I understand why they're doing it, but I don't like it. I, but like I said, I'm a, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a traditionalist. The fact that the Steelers cut Roche, and we basically waved him. What is? Oh my God! What is going on in my house? Uh, evidently, 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 everything's going crazy in my house. <laughs> Oh, it's the craziness that I just love. Uh, Todd Taylor says Bradford signing bonus was more money than Cam Newton's four year rookie deal. Yeah, it was insane. That's why they had us change. That's why they that's why they kept saying you can't pay these rookies more than some people have made their entire career. That's up six. Nothing in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, uh, we got the Mets up six. Nothing in the bottom of the fourth inning. Uh, now up to the bats is the polar bear, Peter Alonzo. I'm doing but I'm doing for some reason I'm doing Bob Shepard. At the Met game, LJ says Bradford is still wanted for robbery. He made he made like you right. He made like hundred and fifty million dollars. That's crazy. That's crazy money. He made hundred fifty million. Yes, there are dogs barking in the background. <laughs> yes, there are. It's just what's going on in my house. It's hard to concentrate. Uh, Mazinga says Darren leave it to Beavers. OJ, hey, what's going on? OJ knockout. I haven't heard from you in a while. Sign Cam. He's better than Daniel Jones. I wanted the Giants to sign Cam Newton last year. I've said certain things. I said I thought Cam was washed up, but I still think even as he is washed up, he is a better prospect and has a better opportunity to winning some games. And he won more games last year than Daniel Jones. Did. I think Evan is going to be good too, says James. That's what we're talking about. Zach says all Jersey girls are, are as good as crazy. I am I am already reading ahead to the James Williams comment, and that's gonna get you in trouble, James. <laughs> Just throw that out there. Uh Dodd says, isn't the Big Ten up to 14? I think the Big Ten is up to 4,368 schools. So I guess they're gonna call it the big 4,368. LJ says, honestly, I may draft Evan Ingram for fantasy. He's my Dougie P, maybe something down there in Florida. Yeah. He is Dougie P. He's he, he, I, I like Doug Peterson. I do. I thought the Giants, that was something they should look at, even if it was an offensive coordinator type position. I, I, I do think he, there was something there. I do think I think there's going to be something there. But you but you never but you never know. But I think he's going to have a season. What is LJ? <laughs> James Williams says Hispanic women are good. Crazy. Just hide the knives when you're arguing. James, I told you, you can get your ass in. James, you're going to. What, James, how many weeks? All right. And my, and, and, and Mrs. Online Big Blue from somewhere beyond says, James, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> Just let you know that. Cam was, the, was Cam that washed up in person? Yes. During that preseason game? Yes. He was washed up. And somehow he found the, the, somehow he found the bleach. And, and 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 some softener and, and maybe some of the, those little t- Tide Pods and he found something for a couple of weeks, but he was washed up. But he still he still has he still he's still Cam Noon. James says, "I know." Smiley, laughy face. 
as, as, as Mrs. Online Big Blue is laughing. Uh, let's see. Who let the dogs out? Uh, I think my wife did. That's what happens when you have three dogs and children that are just then don't behave. <laughs> and are making the dogs bark. Oh, my goodness gracious, man. Great balls of fire. Uh, Zach says, James Williams, don't forget their bare hands. My best friend has those things are weapons. I can't tell you about the story. My wife hit me in the arm and bruised me for like a month. I can't tell that story. But she's right. You're right, Zach. Don't get yourself in trouble either, Zach. James says, LJ, yo, I think Ingram is going to have a decent season, and we're going to see him on ESPN and be mad. I got nothing but love for Evan. I got nothing for love. I got nothing. I got nothing but love for Evan Ingram. Let him do his thing. Mike Lee says, better schedule the funeral now for James. James. <laughs> James, James, James. James, James, James. Mrs. Online Big Blue may stab you. But you know what? She'll say it was at a due cause. Oh, my God, James. And he's still laughing. You know what? Everyone finds it funny until you got a knife sticking out your shoulder. Then there's not funny anymore. Uh, what do we see here? Mazinga says, Wide World Online Big Blue Sports Entertainment. Thank you. you got the candy stash. James is James is still just laughing. Mr. What's Mr. Alvarez says, I got I got a feeling lots of nights gonna be a good night. I got a feeling that all the guys who left the Giants this offseason are about to look like stars on their new teams. That would be terrible. That would make me non-happy. And I'm I'm usually pretty always happy. You know? I always have I always have a grin. Sometimes it may be a bad grin, but I always have a grin. Um but you know what? It's funny. Oh, my goodness. Captain Matumbo. I got to stop reading ahead. Because um, now, now I'm just like, well, now, now, I, now, now I don't know what to say. Um, that, that's that been the way with the Giants. That You know what's funny? We talked about when wide receivers left the Giants, left Eli Manning. No one really progressed. But there have been plenty of Giants that left who went on to have fruitful careers. Oh, uh, how does Mrs. Online Big Blue feel about this season? Mrs. Online Big Blue, how do you feel about the season? She said, wah, wah. And then she's making a stabbing motion. I think she's talking to you, James. Uh, Michael Lee says, is it convenient James will be in the end zone? <laughs> yes, because you know what? It's a little bit of Jimmy Hoffa, because that's where I'm going to have to bury him, because you always have to bury the body. Make sure you have plenty of lime. Oh my god, my wife goes, what is wrong with you? That's from that's from a movie it's from Goodfellows. Uh Christopher says James Williams leaves a neighborhood woman at the Walmart alone. Please, you'll end up in the back <laughs> roll back section. Uh, <laughs> that made me laugh. Ah, oh, Captain Matumbo says, salute to the best giant content creator in the game. I appreciate that. We, we just need to end the show on that. We, we need to end the show on that. I'm going to end the show on that, but thank you, Mr. Matumbo. I thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, James Lee says, Mike Lee, if I drop Tim's pass, I'm definitely going to be shanked. <sighs> no, you just, you just, you're just not going to be invited back. <laughs> uh, says, Captain, 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 Roger, Major. Todd Taylor says, we missed out on the best of Jerovicious and McCaffrey's. You know, you know, it's funny though, but, but uh, didn't both of those go to Denver? Some guy named uh, Elway, two time Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer, killer of Tim, T Tim Tebow's career. <sighs> you know, I mean, but that would, these guys, those two were post uh, pre Eli. But if you look at it though, I mean, really, who succeeded? From the receiving core after Eli Manning left. Who who succeeded? Who succeeded in the Giants? Mike Lee says, James, if Evan can drop the ball and live. Yes. Well, you know what? I th I have more, I have more um I have more trust in James Williams' ability to hang on to my 40 yard bomb. From the well, technically it's going to be thumb the 35 yard line. I'm gonna drop it into the perfect bucket pass in the James Williams. 
you just wait and see. We're going to record. OGR Sports is going to be there. We're going to be recording this. And I'm hoping that someone can photo. Nah, someone could edit the video if I bounce it at the five. But you know what? 40 yards on a rope into the end zone. It's going to be something to see. Gonna, we're going to figure out a way to, we're going to figure out a way to, to, to do something for charity with this. We're going we're gonna to figure out something. We'll figure out something, but that's going to be on uh what, what day is that? That's uh, that's in August. What is it? August 21st. August 21st. Uh, let's see here. Captain Matumbo says Jay Brunson stat prediction for 2023. You know, what's interesting with, uh, with, 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 with Jalen Brunson, you got a lot of guys in, in Dallas that are upset that he's gone. That that you know you you had the, you had the two playoff game explosions. I don't think that's going to be his. I, I think that's his that's his highlight. That's his moment. But if he if he gives you twenty, if he gives you twenty six and five, I I think it's for for one hundred four million. That's a success. Matthew, what's going on, Matthew? Long time no see. Nice to see you again live. I was out of the country for a couple of weeks. Brazil, back in the States now. How's it going? How? What the hell were you doing in Brazil? Or do I not want to know? <laughs> Your kid's outside. It's very distracting. Very distracting. Uh, but I'm all good. Everyone's good. I'm glad you can see you, Matthew. I haven't seen you in a long time. I haven't seen you. Yeah, it's been a month since we've done a last year. A month. That's like 30 days, 30 days past September. I drive a Nova into the lake. I don't know where it goes. Michael, says, if you bounce it at the five, will you call it a DJ? If I bounce it at the five, I've already said this before. James Williams needs to dive into the end zone. For those that don't know what we're talking about, I'm going to do a quick synopsis. I was talking to a subscriber. I was, I was mentioning my, my, pro, my prolific arm. And I said, I could at my advanced stage, I think I could still put one in the end zone at Giant Stadium from 40 yards out. So he said, okay, do it. So I thought to myself, you know what? We're, we're going to the game, the preseason game, August 21st. And where we're sitting, they allow you to go onto the field after the game. So I thought to myself, okay, fine. I'm going to stand on a 35 yard line and I'm going to throw a pass into the end zone. One pass, one pass, all the marbles. Pushing, uh, I'm Jim Fossil. I'm pushing all the chips into the middle of the table. One pass, and it's going to be a 40 yard bomb. And if it bounces, it was either the sun was in my eyes, there was a moon wind, and James Williams dropped it, or I was distracted. But we're, we're going to do something. We're going to do something charity wise with this. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna figure it out when, when we get when we get closer to August. We'll fi we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to record it. James is going to be the one catching. OGR Sports is going to be the one recording. Um, it, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. But we'll, we'll figure it out. Though. Christopher says, "What will or what will your touch <laughs> your touch interception ratio be for DJ?" Because I plan on being one and O. Oh. I'm expecting a hundred percent touchdown ratio. For my one pass. It's going to be epic. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention he's not here. Big shout out to Dom, the Dahmer, the Dahmer not. It's his birthday. Welcome to the party, pal. And evidently that was the wrong button. Damn it. Draft, baby. Yeah. There's Dom. It is his birthday today. So a big salute to the Dahmer. I'm here. To, I'm going to interview Dom now. Dom, what was your what, this off season? What was the the biggest thing you were looking forward to? Draft baby, yeah. See, we don't even need them. <laughs> we got the buttons. Oh uh, my goodness! But happy birthday, Dom. Matthew says, "I'm glad to see you make some Knicks content. Hoping they make more moves too. I think they will. I, th I think they got a couple more moves up their sleeves. I think they got. You know, I, I don't want to. I, I got a video coming out um, about the summer league." Some players to watch. That'll be fun. Um, I don't want to get into it because it's going to be what you call. It. Where is Dom? Um, Dom is overseas. Dom's in the UK. Dom is asleep. What time is it? What time is it in the UK? So it's uh, it's three o'clock in the morning. 
I find it funny because someone has to teach Dom the time difference because he turns his phone off at night. So when I text him, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't bother anybody, but he has a, he has a proclivity of texting me at like six o'clock in the morning. And then I love it because then the next text follows is I probably shouldn't have sent that text because of the time difference. Okay. So now you didn't send me one text. You sent me two texts because of the time difference. Uh, Captain Matumbo says DJ gets signed next year. Not here. Not here. He's 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 not getting uh he's not getting signed for this team. I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to find you know it, I'm trying to find the sound of it because you want to know what you know what's gonna happen. I think you're gonna get away with it? Not up in here. Not up in here. Dom is not gonna get signed up in here. <laughs> Dom. No, he's not getting signed up here. He's 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 gone. He's gone. Oh, Matthew, is your wife is from Brazil? Oh, okay. That would be a reason why you went to Brazil. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Uh, where is the bloke Dominic Palma at? Working at Poppy Cargas? That phrase trademark not to use the other position, Ricky Bobby. We got we got it. You know we have to do it in 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 honor of Dom. In honor of Dom. Are we ready? Because you know what? Here we go. Because you want to know what it is, it's nowhere the better place to go in the West End than the Poppy Cockers. The best in the adult entertainment. It's the best place to go to get your Poppy Cock. And every Thursday is two for one elf night. Just make sure you stop at Poppy Cockers and say hello to Dom and happy birthday. That's for Dom. He'll watch this tomorrow. And if he doesn't, I don't like him. Uh, what do we got here? James says, should the Knicks just trade for Donovan Mitchell? Reddish quickly. Evan or Randall and a bunch of picks. That's only like half the team. Uh, Mitchell's already saying he's not going anywhere. He's not. Mitchell's already come out and said he's not requesting a trade. Oh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that fun stuff. Uh, who do you think like so far as a core, 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 uh, college quarterback right now out of the top 10? I don't like anybody yet. I think Spencer Radler has shown the way that you could have one thing one minute and suck the next. So I have to, uh, Christopher, I have to wait until we at least get halfway through the college season before we start making any type of predictions in reference to college quarterbacks. Hey, Frank, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm still waiting for a true running, blocking fullback to get signed by the G-Man. I wonder if Maurice Carthon can come out of retirement. Maybe Charles Way. Maybe we can find him. James Williams. There you go, James Williams. James says, I'm definitely selling... <laughs> I'm definitely selling out for the catch. You better sell out for the catch because if I bounce this, <laughs> I was talking to James the other day about this, about this wonderful pass. And James, and James, who I love, who love the death, <laughs> goes to me. Can you throw the ball 40 yards? <laughs> I told him, I said, I don't know if I can drive 40 yards, let alone throw a pass 40. I can throw 40 yards. I have no I have, I have no, no worries. No worries. Matthew says, I just want the Knicks to trade Evan and Randall. I don't even care for who. Well, you can get Gordon Hayward. <laughs> We're not doing that. Uh, Evan, I would like to see. Go uh, she, she, uh, the what? Celtics got that $17 million exemption. Send them back to Celtics. Sell them back to Boston. Give them a second round pick for him. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Mr. Alvarez says, if I'm the Giants, I'm getting a quarterback in next year draft. I ain't paying a bump $30 million that looked like Sam Bradford by Glennon deal. I have to, I have to agree. I, I have to agree. Nikki! Nikki, I just did the poppy cocker steam for you. You know what? Because that's just the way I am. But you know what? Wait, where is it? Make the bad man stop. Never. New York Giants Sports Talk Entertainment. That's for you, Nikki. I just blew out my voice, but that's okay. My lung capacity is coming back finally. Uh, Frank says, blame it in the t proper trimmed grass. That's what I'm going to blame it on. I'm going to blame it on the rain. Blame it on the sun that's shining bright, no matter what you are. Uh, baby, don't be shy when you're holding my hand. Uh, I know two different songs. Everyone for every drop ball, someone needs to buy Tim alcohol. There's one pass. One. Uno. No dos. It's going to be a bomb. James says, hit the like button for Tim and Dom's B-Day. 
Dom's at Poppy Cockers. Dom's asleep. It's three o'clock in the morning where he's at. We should call him. <laughs> Let's call Dom. No, I don't want to call Dom. Oh, my goodness. Matthew says, yes, sir, James. Hope you're doing well. Just getting back in the swing after quite a trip. Dom is at Poppy Cockers, Nikki. He's doing his job. Mike Lee says, Dom is crying that Boris is no longer PM. We'll have to have Dom on. We can talk about that. Uh, likewise, Tuto, I've been doing well. Just getting back to work on vacation mode. How you been doing? It's like old home week. Dom is getting ready to throw his hat into the ring for prime minister. I, You know what's funny? I actually asked Dom if he wants to run for prime minister today. John said, who was more embarrassing last season? Glennon or Fromm? Uh, you know what's funny? I have to go with Fromm. I think, you know what? Okay, if you go by disappointing, it's Glennon. If you go by embarrassing, it's Fromm. Carlos, what's going on? Carlos says, it never gets old, the intro. It never does. Dang, is that the new Poppycock logo? Nice. You can all, you can also purchase Poppycock gear on the online Big Blue website and also at the store. John, Joe Judge. <laughs> John says, the Giants have any the bumps on their team. Uh, Matthew says, quarterback stinks a lot worse than the actual quarterback who had to suffer through it. No, they're pretty bad. They were pretty bad. Tim, do you remember Henry Hanoski? Yes, of course I remember the Rhino. He had the bad touchdown dance. Rowing a boat. Where the hell are you rowing a boat, Henry? No stone hands here. James, I swear to you, if you drop this pass, and I'm going to tell you right now, if I throw it to the five, you need to run out of the end zone, catch it, and then dive five yards back into the end zone. Okay? Okay? DJ will be signed as the Salvation Army next season. That's what you need. You just need to do, you know, just catch and sleep. Do this. But you know, I'm getting the guns, getting the guns back up, getting the guns back up. I'm ready for, I'm ready for the big pass. I th I might do it. I might, I might do a Sims type thing. You know, I might do a Phil Sims type. I think that's going to be my wind up. It'll be interesting. Uh, what do we got here? Matt, uh, James says, what are the odds that Matt rule gets fired? McAdoo do takes his spot and brings DJ after we don't resign him low up. Uh, that would be the giant's luck. I think Carolina is actually going to have a fairly good season. I don't think Carolina's going to have a terrible season this year. I really don't. Colt McCoy is banned from the city of Seattle. <laughs> Colt McCoy is the only backup quarterback we had in the last five years and didn't make me want to throw up. Uh, Mr. Albert says, do you think Deuce McBride will have a breakout year as the backup point guard for the Knicks? I hope he doesn't. And this is what my hope is. You have Jalen. You have Derek unless you trade him. And I would like to see quickly turn around and play a little bit more on the point. So it's not that I don't like McBride, but I I, I, I I'd like to see those three into a rotation. And then I would also like try to mix in quickly and Derek Rose, <coughs> excuse me, back into that second unit again. Todd Taylor says the people that drafted from are right now our team. He's not a team. <laughs> it's true. I didn't even think about that. You're right. He's not on the team anywhere. That says a lot. That's true. I didn't think about that. Fromm had even a weaker arm than Hertz. I wonder if Fromm has an arm like mine. If Fromm had my cannon, he would probably still be in the league. Someone said to me yesterday, what happens if you do bounce it? I said, I don't know. <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, OG Knockett says, how many INTs, INTs will... You know what's funny? This is actually a good question. I love this question. How many INTs will Bradbury get on Daniel Jones? They play twice. And my headset's <laughs> going up. They play twice. So I am going to say that there will be at least two. Two INTs. Mark Stewart, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you in a while. It really is old home week. I'm, I'm enjoying this tonight because you know what? Everyone's here. It's like a family. I love Davis Webb. Not sure what happened to him. He doesn't have the talent. Everyone in the Buffalo says Davis Webb is a gym guy. He is a film room guy. He, he is a professional quarterback, but the problem is he just doesn't have the talent to be that on the field. He's only here to basically mentor Daniel Jones into 
the offense. That's all. That's all he's here for. Uh, do you think Watson gets suspended? I think Watson gets. I do think Watson gets suspended from the year. I think the. I think. I think they. The, the Browns have overplay, overplayed their hand a little bit. Even if he gets suspended for eight nine weeks, you're going to at least need another two three week ramp up to get on the field. So he's going to play four games. I, I. I just don't see it. Uh, he said, "Can we trade Tyler Hero somewhere? Uh, we probably could trade him somewhere. I'm not sure who's going to want it." Uh, what's up, G family? Todd says, just rub your eyes and blame it on the damn dust on the field. I hope that people are that are going to the game on August 21st. I hope people that uh, I'm assuming when you're free there, that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, th- uh, uh, I think, hold on. I, I think they are. Uh, uh, I hear the door bell ringing and kids in the back. I will check with, check, oops, with the wife. Uh, are the kids in the back? Chris is asking. All right, I, I had to do. I'm sorry about that. We 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 are the fun house. Uh, working. What are you working on here? Working on my grind. Well, you know what? You can still stop by a video once in a while. Say hey, I miss you. What's up, Jay? How you doing, man? Another one. Another another one. You don't write. You don't call. Uh, yes, I'm sending. Okay, great. Okay, great. Uh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Wife is walking them home now. Uh, all right, well, that's good. I, I just had to take you. We had to take care because it's nine o'clock at night and there's kids outside still. I knew it. What's up, Jay? What's up, Baller? Davis Webb would have been would have been worth a shot. Man, anyone's worth a shot. Uh, let's see. Daniel Jones is the anti Eli. All interceptable balls get dropped. That's true. Eli had the worst. <laughs> In the years that I've watched NFL football, Eli Manning had one of the worst luck in reference to a tip passes. And Daniel Jones is actually the opposite way. If Daniel Jones didn't didn't have be- better luck than Eli Manning, Daniel Jones probably would have 498 interceptions right now. Uh, let's see. Davis Webb is a golfer now. It sounds like a it does sound like a Davis. I think there was a golfer named Davis Webb. I really do think that. All right, rank the NFC East quarterbacks. Um, okay. I'm gonna go Dak Prescott. I'm going Carson Wentz. I'm going Jalen Hurts. I'm going Daniel Jones. Uh, what's up, John? Uh, you're right. Webb doesn't have the, he doesn't have the tools, but it's okay. I don't know the tools to be an NFL quarterback either. Uh, James says I think Watson gets a minimum ten games for to a full year. Uh, Tom Brady got four games for air. Great point. Excellent point. Oh, you'll be there, Mark. I think everyone knows I'm going to be dropping a forty yard pass on the field after the game. So make sure you stay around. And watch that throw. Uh, what is what is Red Rich says? If DJ throws 30 touchdowns and 15 nips, seven shine goes 79. Do you bring him back? No, I don't bring him back. I think we all have to learn the Leonard Williams lesson. One season does not make a career, one season does not define a career. So I think of it that way. Sunday afternoon, Sunday, Sunday. It's going to be fun. It is actually on a Sunday. It's going to be a fun game. Do you think Watson will play football again? I do think he'll play football again. DJ Davis with a grand slam. That's just coming through. DJ Davis had the grand slam. Mr. Albert says the Eagles secondary looks good. Good Bradbury. Yep. You know what? I, I don't want to talk about the Eagles secondary because I really don't. Because I think adding Bradbury, you solidified that secondary and added the CB1 that they truly needed. I, I like big play Slay, but you you truly added you truly added a CB1 to that team. And we gave it away. Davis Love was the golfer. Thank you, Todd. I couldn't remember who the golfer was. Davis Webb equals Alex Tanny 2.0. Ooh, that's actually a good comparison. That really is a good. That is actually a good comparison, but I think I think I think Webb has more uh, more talent than um, but than Davis. Well, you know I'm gonna drop the link into the chat here. If you want to, everyone wants to join in for the last segment. Come on, camera. 
talk some G-Man, hang out with the Timmer, the Timster, white chocolate, as I've been dubbed by James Williams. I'm going to eat a candy because I have the allergies. It's Jolly Rancher. It's You want know to know what's even funnier? It's green. <laughs> Look, I don't have an eye anymore. I'm a Terminator. <laughs> Look, now I'm, now I'm Universal Soldier. <laughs> Sorry. When you're old, you think that shit's funny. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, here we go. Uh, Matthew says, Brady got four games for air. Uh, Deshaun Watson gets 12 games for show. Uh, I don't know if it, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that, but it was funny, Matthew, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that. James says, does anyone seriously think Daniel Jones is going to be a starter somewhere after he leaked? That's a great question. I would do a poll, but I don't know how to do it. I don't see it. I think he goes back up into the backup role. I think Daniel Jones for like short moments, short spurts could turn around and win you some games. But again, do I think he has the longevity to be an NFL star? No. Mr. Mazinga says our man, Tim is winning all day, every day and twice on game day. It's tough being a hero. You just wait and see. 40 yard bomb. James, get on the mic. I want to talk. I want to talk to my Odell Beckham. James, get on the mic. Matthew says, sounds like a good occupation for DJ quarterback not working. He has the talent to be in the league. And people are like, you're softening on Daniel Jones. No, he's got the talent. He does. The problem is he's got the talent to be a backup. Uh, what do we got here? We're adding, we're adding my Odell Beckham, my Ernest Gray. We're adding my Byron Williams. We're adding, we're, 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 we're adding my Lionel Manuel. I'm gonna throw out all the wide receivers, and it's a shirt. On the ghost of James Past. Ooh, James is in the garage. Oh, <laughs> my fault. My fault. It's out. What's going on? As Mace would say to P. Diddy, yo, yo, turn me up in the headphones. We still have no sound from James. <laughs> the picture, oh, though. Yeah. The picture is just James. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait yeah, till James gets his sound situated. And we'll have to hear uh, oh, yeah. Jones is a star in the U.S. I like the USFL. I actually enjoyed watching USFL. The, uh, the wide receiver from the Generals. I was hoping the Giants would take a flyer on. I was getting, I was being page 13. <laughs> and James is gone. <laughs> Mike Lee says, DJ can't even start for my sister's Mary for the poor semi pro team. That's my joke. It's the sister Mary of the poor. Listen, if you're going to steal my jokes, that phrase is trademark not to use the position, Ricky Bobby. What do we see here? DJ can play for the Flint Tropics. I just. Uh, love me sexy. <laughs> Michael says 10 nothing for the match. Yes, we did. We just, we just rep. We just, uh, we just recapped the JD Davis grand slam home run. The grand salami for DJ Davis. We're going to see if James is back here. I thought the USFL was fun to watch. I did. Uh, don't USFL guys have two year contracts? Doesn't matter because they get out of the contracts if they go to the NFL. James. Yo. You still can't hear me? Come in, James. Oh, wow. Come in, James. There you go. I got you. Oh, you got, oh, you got me? me? I got you. Oh, all right. My fault. You're, yeah, it was your fault. <laughs> the venerable, the wonderful, the magnificent, the malevolent, the malevolent. I can't even say the word today. Cause my allergies are killing me. James Williams, stopping by for the last segment of the, of the show. Everyone knows James. So I give a big shout out to James, everyone. We can hear James. Yeah, we yeah. Can. My my fault, my fault, y'all. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Ah, oh, my God, here you got some. <laughs> what is it? What does Mike say? You got references, Tim. Major props. Oh, I can name wide receivers for the Giants. Ad nauseum. You want me to go back to Homer Jones? <laughs> you want me? To, you want me? To, you want me to start back with the inventor? Oh God. Of the spike. Do you want me to go all the way back? How far back do you want to go? 
you like the the, Je- the Jeopardy knowledge of uh, old NFL players. I've been told, James, that I am full of shit and useless information. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, you know, a lot of uh, old school players, like sometimes you say stuff and then I got to go Google it. Like that guy wasn't on the show. Oh, yes, he was. Yes, he was. Uh, what do we got? What do we, oh, we got? Uh-huh. Mr. Where's Ms. Robinson? Two Philadelphia star quarterbacks look better than Daniel Jones. I would have taken a flyer on them, too. You know what? No, look better than Daniel Jones. If you want to go Philadelphia stars. Chuck Fusina. He was the quarterback when the Philadelphia stars turned into the Baltimore stars and won the championships. Oh, wow. You're digging in the crates. Kelvin Bryant coming out of the backfield. Dig it in the crates. <sighs> What's up, what are you doing? Nothing, man. I was just um, just doing some outside stuff. Uh, I was trying to clean up a little bit. That's why I was like, kind of. I guess I had the the mic off or something. I was just doing a couple things, but everything is good, man. Hope everybody in the chat's good. Hope you're doing good. Yes, tell Miss Online Big Blue, it's all love. It's, it's all, all love. But I'm still gonna stay out the kitchen. <laughs> James is coming over to the casa <laughs> in a couple of weeks. James and I are friends. We've come over to the Gaza to hang out and potentially and hopefully not stabbed by my wife. Yeah, ho- ho- hopefully not. You know, I need to catch that pass. If she stabs me in my rib, I can't catch the pass. You got to tell her that. You don't catch the pass. You're walking home. <laughs> you're, walk- you're walking your ass back to the train station. You don't catch the pass. Uh, let's see. Tyra- uh, this is a good question, though. Todd says Tyrod Taylor lasting nine games, though, I think we'll be platooning him with Jones this year. Do you see a platoon for the Tyrod, the OG QB and Daniel Jones? Do you, but do you see a platoon situation? You know, I, I could see that because Not talking to Sergeant Elias. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I could see that because, you know, Tyrod, he does he does get nicked up. You know, he does have a history of getting nicked up a little not as bad as Daniel Jones, but there's been times in his career but he's had to come out and miss some games. So and you get stabbed and, and, in the lung by your trainer. I don't think that really. Well, that, well, that, well, that, I'm not, I, you know, he got, he got Ray Lewis by his trainer on, and, you know, I, that was an unfortunate situation. I was kind of weird. Actually. I've never really heard of that happening. A uh, uh, starting quarterback having to miss games because of uh, uh, the own medical staff on his own team. Like, that, was his that was crazy. I never heard of that, but um, but I, I could see that honestly. I think the Giants—they're really going to try to give Jones as many opportunities as he can, his body can handle. So if he can get back out there, they'll—I think they'll pull Tyrod to put him back out there, just so it's like, hey, we gave him his chance, you know, whatever, whatever. So okay, the, we can move on, and there's no hard feelings. There's no, you know, we didn't hold you back, like whatever, you know. So I, I, I do see that platoon situation. I, I, I want to talk about that injuries for a second, but I, I just love this one by Christopher. Hey, James, looking like a young construction worker version of Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I read that a young you know construction. Get, get <laughs> busy funny. living or get busy dying. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one, Tony. That's a good one. I like that. That's funny. I never heard that before. I find it interesting that we talked about injuries a second ago. Have a second. Yeah. yeah. The Giants have had an injury history. The last, uh, I don't know, what do you say, last five years? I, I would say I would say four, but you could say five. Okay. I would say, you know. Do you feel any better about this season in reference to injuries? I feel better because for the first time, I think we've changed some of the older staff, like people behind the scenes that are very important that people don't think about or get talked about enough. Like, I know we got rid of some older scouts that we're here. I think we're talking uh, about injuries though. But here's no, the, but I, no, 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 no. My fault. I'm, but here's the here's the thing I'm talking about them. Mm. The medical staff for the Giants, the training staff for the Giants, the strength and condition of the Giants are basically the same. I thought didn't we change? I thought we changed we um, changed the strength and conditioning coach. Okay. But the medical personnel is pretty much the same. Oh, all right. Well, then I was wrong. I, th- I could have sworn I read something where we did sh- make a change to our medical staff and no. some of our scouts. Okay. No, well, then the I'm scouts sorry. we did, the strength and conditioning coach we did, but the medical staff itself is basically the same. Well, I have hope because we have a new coaching staff, and I hope with them they're bringing some new, some new, their own nuances and, and things they've learned from other places they've been and, and can, can contribute here and maybe add two cents to something that. 
uh, you know, we didn't have here before. Because, I mean, we can't do any worse. I mean, we've had guys. You can do had, worse. I don't know, man. We've had – we've had – there was one week where I think all of our wide receivers were out. Yeah. And it was like – I think they put Slayton out there, but he was like his hamstring was bothering him, so he was only at half speed. It was like Kenny was out, Tony was out, I think uh, Evan was out. Like all of our offensive weapons were so called out, but you know, and I was like, how how is this possible? Every week, like guys are missing three, four games in a row. Like I've never seen nothing like that. Mike Lee says, James, make sure you bring the stickum. No, nah, I don't need no stickum. We don't do you, that. You're you're not gonna pull a Clifford Franklin. No, no, I'm selling out though. If you know, there the is going to be even if it's one the, man cold to Clifford Franklin. Clifford's the only yeah. one catching it. Clifford's the only one coming down with it. What movie is that from, everyone? James is like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sitting here in my brain. I'm trying to think. Like James, like I was outside doing freaking yard work. <laughs> <laughs> I got top of his your Jeopardy. Always bring it. Zach um, Kowski did not invent the spike, regardless of what Twitter says. Well, you should you should stay off Twitter, Zach. You know that it's the Bermuda Triangle of common sense. And Matthew says, "No, I didn't mean. I meant your movie references was semi pro. Semi pro. I enjoyed that movie. That was I, a good movie. I, that was that was that was a good movie. That was ah, oh, we got some. Matthew knew it right away. It was the replacements with Keanu ah. and Orlando Jones. That was a good one too. I, I like that one. I'll tell you a story about Orlando Jones. I was in a bar, which was funny in Orlando." And ran into Orlando Jones. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you this right now. He does not like Clifford Franklin jokes. Really? I don't know why. He really doesn't. He does not like Clifford Franklin jokes. Hmm. And evidently, he did not like them when I kept giving him Clifford Franklin jokes. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, you were being uh, just Tim with it. You're like, oh, you don't like Clifford Franklin jokes? Oh, what? The, how about this one, Orlando? <laughs> and, uh, I asked him at one point because uh, Clifford Franklin in the movie goes, um, you know, what the biggest fear was. And he was like going back to the mini mart. So I asked him at one point, Orlando Jones, I said, are you going to go back to the mini mart after you never get another role after the replacements? Oh, oh, no, you didn't say that. Did. You said that. Oh, man. You shouldn't have been a dick. Well, <laughs> so, well, you know what? That's why I love you. But that's why people hate you. <laughs> that's, that's right there. Uh, oh, man. oh, my goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, wait a minute. We got to drop somebody in. We have to because I haven't talked to this gentleman in a while. And I don't know what time it is there, but it's Mark. It's from Barbados. Oh, Mark. What's up, brother? Oh, Mark. I'm, I'm cool. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. We we haven't seen you, I think, since the draft. Yeah, that's correct. That's and that correct. Was, that was the last time. Those that don't know, Mark Mark is another big subscriber who's always on. He always comes in and helps us out with, especially when we do draft videos and things such as that. Mark, you had the big. You, you know, I haven't. I, James, not that I want to talk to you. I talk to you all the time. You you <laughs> had everything going on with the draft. You had everything going on with free agency. Are the twenty twenty two Giants any better? Than 2021. Whew. Yeah, I think so. Just the just from the offensive line situation, I think the offense in itself uh, should be a lot should be a lot better. I can't imagine the offense being as uh, dysfunctional as it was the last couple of years. What, what, I mean, our best play is not going to be the quarterback sneak. <laughs> Why so? No, no that, that that maybe that may be number four or something, but not number one. Yeah. If if you had to put a pulse on this season, if you had to say this guy, and it could be on either end, this guy is going to be something that no one expected, that he's going to come out of the proverbial left field and do something that no Giant fan, and I'm going to ask James the same question, that no Giant fan thought that guy could do, who, who, who would you pick? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, That's why I'm I mean, a host. I would, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say Wandell Robinson, but maybe he's not as under the radar as he was initially. Um, he, you know, but I I think I think he could have a some. There's something about him I like. There's a certain toughness um, and all that. So I mean, I, I think I, I like him. And at first, okay. I really thought that that was a reach, but. Uh, 
but I don't know. It, it may have been a good pick at the end of uh, the end of it all. You know, um, Jackson, there's also Jackson, Quincy Roche, Jack Friedman. Yeah, Quincy Roche. Yeah, I mean maybe, but I, I I don't know if he'll get enough playing time. You know, I mean not with Tipido in there, and 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 I think I think if there is anyone on the defense side in that sense on pass rushing, maybe Ellison Smith. There you go. Smith. I didn't think about Smith. James, same question to you. Who is oh, going to be your guy, guy that you're going to be shocked about? Oh, the freaking Mark came on here and made some actually quite uh, great, in, uh, <laughs> great, great, uh, great I, names. I, I'm telling you right now, Jim Mark probably knew the program. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, ooh. He probably, knew the, he probably knew the movie The Replacements when I did the line, James. Like, like, Dang it, Mark. Um, but, uh, no, no. <laughs> no, nah, honestly, man, I think, um, well, first off, this is, I mean, this is not anything special, but I think Barkley, I think Barkley is going to have a, a really big bounce back here. I think, um, and I think it's important for us in our offense too, you know, not just Daniel Jones, just the offense as a whole. But I think him coming back from his injury and actually proving you know, a lot of people wrong and, and proving us right about him, taking him that high at that pick, you know, as we did a couple of years ago, I think he's actually going to bounce back and kind of look, I'm not going to say exactly like he did his rookie year, but, but some form of that, you know, where, where he's really going to have that, that breakout speed and be that dangerous weapon. And on the other side of the ball, honestly, man. Well, yeah, I, it's, it didn't have to be both sides. It could, it should be just one. I don't know, man. I, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to keep it simple. You know what? We need, we need Thibodeau to actually be everything that he's claiming to be. You know, I'm hoping that he comes out and he really does be the aggressor. And I'm not, I'm not going to put in. I know he said, what did he say? He's going to have eight to ten sacks or something like he that. He said he's going to have a sack a game. Oh, oh, um, well. You know what? Aim, shoot for the moon. Aim. Uh, maybe you'll hit a star on the way down. So I'm not mad at that. But I, I need, we need Thibodeau to actually be the beast that he claims to be. So. I'm, I'm thinking Thibodeau is actually, you know, like some of our top picks are actually going to hit, <laughs> you know, for a change. For, uh, for, Thomas, for a change. You know, for a change. Seriously, you know, Thomas has been good, but we need somebody like one of these top picks to come in and smack somebody in the mouth. So if Thibodeau could come in, I think Thibodeau is going to come in and do that and still a little fear, which is something we haven't had in a while. And I think Barkley's actually going to be somewhat of what he was his rookie year. And I know that's not like some out-the-box pick, but those are important players for us that we need to produce. Eugene Absolutely. Brown's got it listed, listed as Sexy Dexy. Jay's coming in with Carter Coughlin. I'm gonna, and we also have Chris Tony coming in at uh, Carter Coughlin or Belton or Beavers or Flot. Um, Mark, this is, yeah, this, sure. this, is, this, is a, this is a big question here. On a scale of 1 to 10 in reference to how awesome am, am I? 10. Actually, more, like right, 11. more like 11. More like 11. 11. You know, you know what? It's, it's an 11. We don't need James Williams anymore. <laughs> it's a, it's a, my new best friend now is Mark. <laughs> Mark has now moved one step Look, closer to yo, me. Yo, Mark, don't fall for that. He just traded one black man with glasses for another black man with glasses. <laughs> That's that trick. That's that trick, Mark. Don't fall for that. <laughs> James, you're making, with these allergies, you're making me cough. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! You're killing me. That was funny as shit, though. That was funny. Uh, Jack Friedman says, "Hold on, I got a question though." But Jack Friedman says he's not going to be insane, but Roche will be the first rotational pass rusher to actually execute his role. Actually, I actually, mm. I actually, I actually agree with that. But I want to go to Mark real quick here. Kayvon Thibodeau, because um, James, uh oh, we got to drop this guy in too, because you know what? I'm seeing a trend here. There is a what? trend. James, uh, <laughs> why don't you tell me what this trend is? You ready? Here we go. I got it. What's the trend? What's the trend? Mr. Ellis. Uh, yeah, okay. Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Luke. Hello, What's going on? He's doing it, doing it, doing it well. Let me let me let me, let me take those road. let me take those off. Change the trend. Ah, oh, there we go. Now the trend. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You see that? Yo, you see that? <laughs> I like it. I, I feel like I'm out of place. You are, you know what? You are out of place. You messed it up the, the, the box. <laughs> I don't have any glasses. I, I don't know, man. I gotta find I gotta find some glasses here. You gotta LJ, have some what's glasses. going on, man? Nothing much, my brothers. How y'all doing? I was just uh We're doing better know, now. You know, listening to the stream, making my little comments. 
watching the Yankees at the same time, but I said, you know, let me uh, let me get on the screen. Drop it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question. I was gonna ask Mark, and I want to get Mark's and James' opinion on this because Kayvon Thibodeau came out and said he's getting a sack a game. He's okay. he's gonna he's gonna have 17 sacks this year, and that that's pretty that's pretty big for a rookie. And he's talking a very boisterous, a very loud game. Now I'm all for being loud and boisterous and cocky and arrogant, but the problem is there needs to be a there needs to be a a a plus to that. There there you need to be you need to put if you're gonna be that way and act that way you need to put up or shut up. Is he hurting himself right now, not even taking a snap, not even being on the practice field for preseason, for anything, to make these? Now it's great for the paper, but is he making a mistake for his career right now by, by um, talking this big and he hasn't even went into, went into training camp yet? I, um, I was concerned about this coming into draft day, and I think he is, especially with being in New York. We're so quick to label somebody. As soon as he doesn't, as soon as he goes four games and he gets two pressures, one sack over a four game period, the media is going to kill him. He's going to be labeled a bust. Yep. And now all of the talking that you like to do three or four Instagrams a day, three or four, uh, you know, spots a day. Now all of those spots are going to start to become a little darker. You're going to start to not tweet as much. You're going to get into your little dark mode and, you know, go behind doors and not and, you know, go on, the, uh, you know, go dark social media wise. Yep. And then they're going to start to question. You. you know what I mean? There's a reason, you know, when he came in, say Quan Barkley told him, um, don't get too high. Don't get too low. That's the best advice to give somebody like that. don't right. get too high. Don't get too low. You're a rookie. And, and Mark, same question to you. Is his arrogance potentially going to be Kayvon Thibodeau's downfall this first season? Because because LJ is right. The New York media is going to rip you apart if you're not if if you're if you if you're this arrogant and you fail. And the fan and Todd Taylor says it best right here. He's gonna the fans are gonna pounce on him and are waiting to pounce if he's if he if he flames out. Yeah, I mean, okay, he's pretty smooth, but I mean I remember Strahan also talked about getting a number of sacks in his first year. Um, of course, I mean social media wasn't it wasn't it wasn't back in the day. The, the, yeah, like yeah, like like how it is now. Um, but yeah, he's gonna face some adversity, and we're gonna see how how it goes. I mean, I mean, I I think though the biggest issue for him and anybody else in that defense pass rush is that Wink doesn't really focus on one pass rusher. In other words, if you look over the years, hardly anybody had 10 sacks for right. him. Uh, Judy and, so, had the most so, sacks in his four so, years that he was there. Yeah. So the system the system that Wink that Wink is going to run or, or rather has been running let me put it that way, has been running doesn't suggest that you're going to um, focus on this major pass rusher. So unless he changes Unless he makes a change and says, well, you know, Thibodeau is my guy or whatever the case would be, I don't know. But it hasn't been that way. So I don't know. So him knowing the playbook and and saying that, I wonder if there's going to be a bit of a change where Wink is concerned. But I, So I'm all interested to see how that's going to be because I think that's there's got to be some sort of change because our secondary isn't what it should be. No. It's certainly unproven. It's, it's certainly unproven. Right. It's so, definitely unproven. Yeah. It's definitely, yeah. And now, James, it was to, 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 to expand on something that Mark was talking about, and I'm kind of curious on your opinion, he's right. The The Wink system is, is more predicated on multiple fronts in reference to bringing the rush from different areas and using multiple players. If Kayvon Thibodeau, let's say, is nine games into his career, has two sacks – is he potentially going to be upset or be boisterous or boisterous because of the fact that he is not feeling like he may be used as the star in the defense? Well, I'm going to piggyback on what both my brothers said a little bit. First, what you said with Mark that, yes, 
a great point that Wink, you know, he doesn't really focus on one one position or one place to, to apply pressure. You know, it comes from different points, which is actually a great system. And to go with what you just said, it's going to be on Thibodeau and his uh, maturity, you know, how he handles that, how he handles New York, how he handles being the top pick, how he handles the ups and downs, you know, don't be too high or too low. Just like uh, brother said, Barkley told him. But to go with um, that other point, I actually like the fact that he's he's talking a lot because, yeah, we're going to find out about him to all these points quick. If, if he has a, a great week, we're going to find out how he handles it. If he has some low weeks, we're going to find out how he handles it. I, I think that's kind of good. I think that over the last few years, we've had too many guys come in. Like, you know, I love Barkley's talent, but he doesn't really say too much. You know, uh, we signed Kenny Galladay to this huge contract. He doesn't do anything or say anything. But to, uh, can, but to stop you for a second there, Barkley with all of his injuries, Barkley with all of his lack of production, if he would have been a boisterous type player and a, and, and a talker, what do you think the media would have done to him running for 500 plus yards and not being the guy he was from 19? They would have just, they would have destroyed him. They would him, have him but... not talking and just doing his job. I think in some ways is saving his New York career. Yeah, it is, but I will say Barkley, when he was healthy, and he had a, a real quarterback. I'll add on to that. He showed what he could do. Right. It's not like it's not like he's been here all these years and he was never. Uh, he never had a real breakout year when he was healthy and he had a viable quarterback. He showed what he could do, and he and he was pretty and he was pretty amazing. And mm-hmm. and that, and we want him to get some semblance of that. You know, the last who was the last boisterous player we had, and yes, he was a knucklehead, OBJ, right. but his talent backed it up. His talent backed it up, but and his, that's why he. His no, I'm just, talent to, but his talent to a point, at one at one point was overshadowed by the, not by me, but by the giant organization was right. overshadowed his his knuckleheadedness, which I'm going right. to as a word now, overshadowed <laughs> talent evidently but, in to the franchise. But that goes back to if we have the right coach and we have the right GM and the culture is changing, then these guys should be able to handle that. They should. That's that's the key. I, LJ, I got I, – and I'm going to ask this question. LJ. Yes, sir. It, it, is, it is July. We got, we, got a, we got a long way to go. Is there a player that's going to go into camp that you are probably most interested in and seeing what happens or seeing what he becomes or just seeing if he's even an NFL talent. Um, hmm. I know that this person is an NFL talent, but I believe that if there's any hope for our secondary, McKinney is going to have to take a big jump. How big um, of a jump? Like Pro Bowl, all pro jump? He's gonna have to be. Uh, I, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Pro Bowl sort of caliber because, to me, he's gonna have to erase a lot of mistakes on that back end. He's yeah. gonna be able to have to go sideline to sideline. He's gonna have to make up some mistakes for Dory, whoever that CB two is gonna be. Um, I think he's gonna have any chance. He's gonna have to take a big jump. Okay. Mark, who is the one player going in the training camp that you are most interested to see if they are, let's say, an NFL talent or it, what they can potentially do to help this team? Mm. That's, a, that's a good one. I was even thinking about it as you go along. And I, I guess I'm going to go on the rookie on the rookie side, though. Okay. Um, I'm going to go on the rookie side. I, I want to see if uh, Bellinger, how, how, how he's going to acclimatize. Yeah, because I mean, tight ends—it's not an easy transition from from uh, college to, to to NFL. But I just have a feeling about about him, and um, and I don't I don't think we're going to be doing thirteen personnel, and I even don't even know how much twelve personnel we're going to run. So I think I think uh, Bellinger is probably going to be the tight end that's going to be on the field most of the time. I think I actually, think, so. think is I think Bellinger is going to be probably yeah. 
I'm, I'm actually not. I'm not actually with Ricky Seal Jones. Uh, with Ricky Jones Seals, whatever his name is. I, I mean, I, you, you have some professional tight ends, but I think Bellinger is going to be interesting. James, same question. Who's your guy? Well, first off, Ricky Seals Jones sounds like a backup uh, singer for New Edition. Just to get that out the way. But um, <laughs> please, girl, you're all my world, please but, um, believe you're the one I'm dreaming of all night long. But I'm um, with you. Make you feel so good <laughs> through and through. The way you walk, the way you talk. I think I killed LJ. <laughs> I think LJ fell off the toilet. <laughs> but um, I, you know what? I, you I really think we need. Do you really need me? Do you love me? Do you really care? Sorry. Going in now. Going in. But um, I think we need to. And this is on Shane. This is what I'm about to say. I think we need to see what this Wandale Robinson kid is all about. Because I think it's safe to say there were better picks out there. There were better picks out there. There were at least better, uh, you know, a, a scouted players or whatever you want to call it. But there's probably going to, you know, there's definitely better receivers, better defensive players out there at that pick. And we took the best running back in high school. So uh, I need to see this kid do something and, and be more than NFL talent. Be like, not Pro Bowl, but like, I need him to be in between, right. like starter, Pro Bowl, like somewhere in there, like to see like, oh, OK, because if he's if he's a bust, then that's going to lower my faith in Shane because it's like, why? You know, give me a break. So I need to see Wondell mm. like do something. LJ, big mm. question. Big question for you. Charmin or Coulter Northern? <laughs> Charmin, baby. Charmin. Well, LJ sounds like he's in the bathroom. Um <laughs> What game, LJ, in all seriousness, what's the one game you're looking forward to this year? If you And I know you don't have the schedule in front of you, but if you had a – I mean, I already know what game it is for me, but if you had to circle it and say, this is the game I'm looking at, and this is the game I want to either see for any reason, for any reason it could be, what is, what is the giant game this year that is your – that is, that is your can't miss. I, I, I can't take the wife out shoe shopping. I got to be home today. The grass can wait. The dog can wait. What What's the game? Um, for me, I can't stand the Eagles. I need to see the Eagles game. I, I got to see the Eagles game. I hate them. And I, and I honestly want to see – I want to see Bradbury, to be honest with you. I, I kind of want to see Bradbury – in that Eagles, I kind of see. I, I just want to see the Eagles. I don't. I'm not a big believer in Jalen Hurts, and I think the quarterback kind of runs the team. So they're already talking about they have a full All Star lineup, and they're already predicting they're going to win the Super Bowl and all of that. I want to see the Eagles. Game. I want to see the Eagles games. Uh, Ronnie says you can't say that you don't know what they are going uh, to trying to do. I don't know who said it, Ronnie, but you yell at one of these guys. It wasn't. I don't. I didn't say anything. I don't remember saying oh, anything. Yeah. Sure. Blame the brother with the glasses. Yeah, bl- blame <laughs> the brothers with the glasses. <laughs> I, I feel so out of place without glasses. Uh, Mark, same question. What? <laughs> Mark doesn't have his glasses. What's the game that you have circled on your calendar? I want uh, that Thanksgiving game interests me with Dallas. That that's I, actually I mean, could be an interesting game. That's a big game, and I, you know, I, you know, on a big stage, and I. I kind of would like to see us hand Dallas a, a big loss on Thanksgiving. That'd we nice. play we play away on Thanksgiving and away on Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. Does yeah. does does someone in the NFL office hate the Giants? <laughs> yeah. James, what game do you have circled? I know you're googling right now. Yo, I hate you. Yeah, I was. Um... That's why I try to get to you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Um... I got both Dallas games. We we haven't beat Dallas in like four years. Four years. Yeah, it's been four. A while. I'm gonna see that again to all Giants fans who think we're gonna win the division and, and win ten. We haven't beat Dallas in four years. That's eight games. You know what came out? Does anyone want to take a guess what game I have circled? The first game. Oh, the board. There you I'm go. <laughs> there you go. You want it? Samuel Jones, right? We're going to bring the boom. Because we're going to be tightening up. Hell, I killed myself there. What if Tannehill pulls a hamstring? And you know who has to come in. Uh oh. Willie B, man. 
<laughs> Willie Beeman will be coming in. That's my that's my game circled. I'm dying here for my allergies, so I'm going to give everyone a final thought before we close it out. We're going to start with the venerable LJ, who was late who was late to the party, but he, he still made it. What's your what's your final thought about? It could be anything. It could be the giant season, the NFL. Just what's what's your what's your final thought of the evening? Final thought is, uh, of course, related to the Giants. We'll start slow. Um, we'll start slow, probably disappointingly slow. Okay. Um, I think right around the time we hit that stretch in the schedule where we have those four teams that we can go in that four hole run. I think if we can go in that 4-0 run, we can make a salvageable season. And also, just to piggyback on an earlier question, um, Ellerson Smith, in, in, in the back of my mind, I kind of want to see what Ellerson Smith is all about. We heard about him for two years, haven't seen him on the field yet, said he's an athletic freak, he's supposed to be able to get after the quarterback. I haven't well, he played seen a little last year. year. He played a little towards the end of the season. The last season was his rookie season. I will tell you this, seeing him on the sidelines, He's like a foot taller yeah. than any other giant on the on the sideline. Yep. So, uh, so just that, you know. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. I think we'll start off slow, um, and I think because we'll start off slow, I can imagine seeing Tyrod Taylor implanted as the quarterback at some point in time. Two thirds, three quarters of the way into the season, I really do. Okay. Mark, what is your what is your final thought of the evening? Well, we've been talking about impact players, and oddly enough, none of us have mentioned uh, Kadiris Tony. Oh, and, that's, um, that's and, actually and, I think we're also forget his rap career. And I mean, I mean, given where he was picked, given what he flashed last year, he needs to come out and have a really hell of a season to, 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 you know, to show what he's made of. So I think actually if he really, um, you know, is consistent with what he showed last year, that that would be a, a big moment for us. So I think Kadiris Tony, I really want to see how he, how he uh, plays this year. He's a big one for me. My only problem with Kadarius Tony is this. When I'm a better rapper than he is, he needs to focus on football. <laughs> so I'm going to say, James, you always know. You know how to end it. You know how to bring it home. You know how to. You know how to dom it oh and have God. the massive final. James, like, I knew this yeah. question was coming, man, but I was hoping he was going to pass. What is the James Williams final thought of the evening? Do we need a bigger boat? I'm about to, I'm about to kill everybody's hopes, like George Carlin. Um, yo, everybody <laughs> out there, I love y'all. But we're not going to be good this year. Nope. And guess what? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We just have to look better than what we've looked the last few years. James, you really know why it doesn't matter? <laughs> James, you really, I'm not sure, but you really know why it doesn't matter? Do you know why? Because we need to suck anyway to get a real quarterback. Nope, it doesn't matter because. I'm sign the Kings. Oh, of course. <laughs> order. You go in order. God's in order. Our shark. Our shark is in the water, James. <laughs> you like we're you know you know what we still are? We're still the team that when other people look at the schedule and they go, Oh man, we gotta play uh the Steelers. Oh man, we gotta play the Bucks. Oh, we got the Giants coming though. That's a win. So we're still that team to other teams. We are the chum in the water. So we're trying not to be chum. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay if we suck. But we, as long as we show progression, like, hey, if we win six games. And look good, and we're competitive in the others, and, and we really don't get blown out. And, you know, hey, that's – hey. And Debo looks like he can actually coach, and he's not wasting time out, so doesn't know how to do the challenges, and that's great. And that, then that's all we want to see, you know. So just like brother said, just stay grounded, you know, keep expectations low. Look for, like, one area you want to see improvement. Just pick one thing. And if that one thing improves, then, hey, you know what? <laughs> it was a good – it's a good season. Hey, we got Afghanistan, baby. Oh, yeah. In the house. I haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Uh, Mr. Baby. Oh, yeah. I want to ask you a question. Why have you in the chat? If you know this, this is a simple question. Out, out of the four screens, which one is that seems to be not wearing glasses? 
Uh, I want to appreciate. I appreciate everyone dropping in. I appreciate everyone hanging out. We haven't done a stream in a month. We we have to we have to remedy that. I want to appreciate, and I always want to thank Mr. LJ for coming in, coming in because he's always a great supporter. He's always a great adder to the content. You know, we have to have we have to have everyone back on again, like we used to, especially for the draft where we had eleven people. Yeah, that was dope. That was we, dope. we gotta do that again. We got Mark calling in all the way from Barbados, always offering his wonderful insight, always offering us a different perspective for the Giants. And of course, we have the venerable, my brother, my brother, brother, James Williams, coming in, hanging out, trying not to get stabbed by my wife. But we'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to have that conversation. And you know what I'm thinking, James? Not to throw you on the spot, James Williams is coming out to the Casa. I think we're gonna do a live stream from with James Williams when he is here. Uh, I have the seats from the old Meadowlands in my in my. Oh yeah, yeah, you do. That's, yeah, that's dope. I think we're gonna hook up the camera, and we, James and I are gonna do a live stream for a couple hours when he's uh, when he's here. We'll, we'll give you more information when that comes around. I want to thank everyone for dropping into the room. I want to thank everyone, all the guests tonight, because I wish I would have did this earlier. Because you know what, uh, I think it, I think it's always great to get everyone, I, and I've said this a million times. I do this not for myself. I do this not to hear myself talk and I do this for the people that support the channel and are just giant fans in general and understand not only the giants, but understand the sport and truly get it. Because I think once you truly get it, then you understand this channel. But I want to give a big shout out to everyone, say thank you, say good night, and uh, we'll have more information on the big pass coming up on August 21st. And you know what? <laughs> we are out of here. Thank you everyone. Say good night everyone. Peace, peace. Thanks.